What's up? Jim here. Welcome back to J Street Moto. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss any new content. Share it with your friends. All that stuff is free to you, and it helps the channel. A couple weeks ago, I dropped a video on the channel uh, showing the installation of the crash and supply nine and a half inch pullback risers, high bend bars, and solid bushings. And I've put about 400 miles on the bike, maybe 500 miles since then, so I thought that I would do a short video and let you know what I think about these bars. When I bought this bike, you know, the stock bars aren't that bad. On the new road glides, on the 24s, I, I'm, I kid you not, the stock bars are not that bad. My hands were in the same height or the same height position that they're in now with this setup. What I disliked about the stock bars were how far my, there were two things, how far my hands were from the center line of the bike and the angle at which my hand, that it kept my hand. The, the bars swept more straight instead of kind of back at you put my hand in an awkward position it just wasn't it was comfortable for short rides but if you're going to go out and spend you know eight nine ten twelve hours on the bike in a day it did not it was not suitable for that at least not for me made my hands very uncomfortable made my shoulders uncomfortable so i bought these bars and i gotta tell you these freaking things are amazing lance and juan you guys really make some quality stuff. Let's talk about the bars from a fit and finish perspective first. They are dead on. You can tell they were designed by someone that is an aeronautical engineer. There is, I mean, the tolerances these things have are ridiculous. So from a fit and finish perspective, these bars are amazing. The powder coating on the the, uh, the hard bend bars themselves is fucking, what's up guys, how y'all doing? Um, the powder coating on the bars is amazing. The anodized finish on the risers is, I mean, it's dead on. It's, I, I'm not kidding. Um, the bars came packaged very well and very well protected. So did the risers. The solid bushings. That probably is the single biggest thing that changed the way the bike feels to me. Because I no longer have that squishiness that just connects. I'm not kidding, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I mean, I'm, I'm literally trying to move these. They don't move. They don't move at all. You feel everything. And that's a good thing. I like being connected to the bike. And, and in all honesty, would you get that same feeling with ape hangers if you replace the stock bushing? I think it's going to improve it, but I still believe that just by the nature of an ape hanger, you're still going to get some flex in the bar. I think you will. I don't think it's going to be as bad. It's not going to be as, 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 um, the word I'm looking for, as noticeable if you had solid bushings on with those ape hangers, but you're still gonna get some flex. I get zero flex in these bars, I'm not kidding guys. And it puts my hands in the right spot for me. My hands are at the right angle, my hands are at the right height, and my hands are closer to the center line of the bike, which actually makes the bike feel, it was already a nimble motorcycle to begin with, makes it feel even more nimble because I have more control over it, if that makes sense. I can't say enough good things about these bars. I really can't. So fit and finish, freaking, you know, five stars out of five. They're they're amazing. Um, fitment, and I'll talk about. I just talked about fitment to me, right? Fitment to me, five out of five. These things, this, this setup is exactly what I needed for my height and my arm length. I am. Just so you guys know, I am six foot tall. I have a 31 inch inseam. So I have short legs for how tall I am. 
Most people that are six foot tall have 32, 33, 34 inch inseams. I have a 31. So my torso is longer. So even though I'm six foot tall, the part of my body that is on the seat and sticking up is larger than most people that are six feet tall. They're going to be a slightly lower than I am. So at six foot, could I have gone with mid-bend bars? My body type, I probably could not. The high-bend bars were what I needed. If you're six foot tall, could you go with mid-bend bars instead of high-bend? Possibly. That brings me back to the next thing I want to talk about, the customer service. Now, I bought mine from Tulane Life. That's where I got them. And I got them there because at the time, they were backordered at Thrash and Supply. But Tulane Life had them, so I bought them from them. Call the guys. Call Tulane Life. Call Thrashen if you're looking at this setup. Talk to them. They know their products really well, and they use their own products. So if you call them up and you tell them, hey, you know, I'm, I'm toggling between mid and high bend. I don't know which one's the right one for me. I don't know which height I need in the risers. You call them up, they can get it pretty dialed just over the phone without ever meeting you. So, you know, give them a shout. The customer service is fantastic. I, I'm not kidding. Um, so yeah, fit and finish, beautiful. Fitment to me is excellent. Fitment on the bike. Like I said, these are probably the easiest bars I've ever installed on a motorcycle. Now, part of that is the bar design. I freely will give a nod to them on that one. Part of it is the bar design. Part of it is the changes Harley made to the road glide. They made it a lot easier to access everything you need to get to to do the job that you're doing so you don't have to take as much crap off the bike as you did with previous models. Um, that's not going to be the case for the street glide. You still have a boatload of crap you got to take off of it to change your bars. And in all honesty, I don't know, it'd be a question for thrashing supply. I don't know if you can use this setup on a street glide. I honestly don't. After looking at, you know, well, certainly the 23 and earlier models, after looking at Juan and David's street glides, I can tell you there isn't an easy, you'd have to cut some stuff to make the risers fit. Um, the 24s, the street glide still, the bar, the riser is not uh, easily accessible, is a good way to put it. Really easy to install, simple, straightforward, and clean. It's just a clean look. It really honestly is. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it is a clean look. I am going to Harley Davidson. I think it's Harley has them. makes a trim piece that goes right here so that you can hide some of what you can see through that hole when you look in there that has been now opened up because you've removed the stock riser. This part used to be down there, so it hid a lot of stuff. You lose that hiding when you put a setup like this on. Hardly makes a piece that snaps in here that conceals some of that, and I'm probably going to get it. It's only like a $5 piece, but I have to, I got to go to the dealer. I got to talk to them. I got to make sure I get the right thing, that kind of deal. So yeah, all in all, hell, I'm not kidding you. I'm 10 out of 10 on these bars. I really am. I love them. I, I can't believe it took me this long to go to this setup. I even like them better than my 14-inch ape hangers. And those things were pretty dialed for me. But they always had that flex in them that I didn't like. That thing that made you feel kind of disconnected from the bike. Don't know any other way to put it. Comfortable to ride, but you still did not feel like you had absolute control over your motorcycle at all times. With these, there is no delay. Grips. I did not change the grips on these bars. I didn't change my grip setup. The, the stock grips are okay for me. Um, I have a little bit bigger hands, and I did not mind. I don't mind the stock grips. They feel pretty comfortable, so I just kept them. Will I change them at some point? 
it's possible because as much as I ride, you end up wearing your grips down. I don't know if you guys have seen that or, or have experienced that or not, but the texture on your grip will start to wear down over time as you ride, the more you ride. So will I change the grips at some point? Possibly, but I like the look of the Harley grips that come stock on the bike, and I like the feel of them. They're not too big for my hands. They're extremely comfortable. So I chose not to change that. When I changed the bar setup, I kept everything else stock all the way over from the mirror to the outside of the bars is stock. And it all fits perfectly on the aftermarket parts, the bars that Thrashen sent me. So yeah, hopefully you'll find this review interesting. Hopefully you've watched it the whole way through. Hopefully it helps you make your decision. Like I said, can't speak highly enough about both companies, Two Lane Life and Thrashen Supply. Very knowledgeable people, very helpful. They want to help you. They're very responsive. Um, the ration was pretty busy, so most of the communication I did with them was via email. But they were responsive via email. Ask them. Ask the questions that you have. They will give you the answers. They will. And hopefully this setup will make things more comfortable for you, because I want to see you guys out there riding, man. I want to see y'all putting miles on that time of year hope you guys are staying safe check on your friends and uh you know like subscribe click the notification bell always ride safe yeah ready one two three shoot ah. asshole really <laughs> peace out bitches <laughs>